What's up guys, Dan here for bladereviews.com taking a look at the Spyderco Sage 1. Um, people who have been subscribing to my YouTube channel, been following the channel, are no stranger to my Sage 1. I've featured it in a lot of videos. It's a go-to blade for size comparisons, for video responses, for contest entries, and uh, that's for good reason. I just love this knife. The reason why I haven't done a review on it yet is because it's just been spending so much time in my pocket. I just haven't gotten around to it, so uh, I'm here to share it with you now, though, and uh, very, very excited. So let's jump in with some quick specs. First of all, our overall length on this one is 7 one eighth inches. It's got a 3-inch long blade, and it weighs just 3.2 ounces, so perfect size for EDC. For me, this is my, my go-to EDC blade. Uh, my written review, I went so far as to call it the perfect EDC knife for me. And I wrote that review a while back, and I still feel that way. This is just everything I want, nothing I don't. Perfect size for EDC, and uh, perfect knife for EDC too. So, let's take a closer look at the blade, which is made of Crucible CPM S30V. That is the powdered version of this. Let's clean that blade off. And the uh, powdered version allows for a tighter grain structure so it'll hold a finer edge and uh, S30V is just an excellent all-around steel, a premium blade steel. Holds a very nice edge. Takes some work to sharpen but it's not that bad and it's got good rust and corrosion resistance as well. So excellent. Excellent choice in blade steel. And the blade shape is just a nice simple Spyderco leaf shape. Kind of a modified drop point. It's got some good belly there. No swedge or anything. Just giving a simple full flat grind. Excellent for slicing. And it's got a an adequately thick tip there too. You know, not really designed for penetration, but in a pinch this could work as a, you know, it's got, got adequate uh, tip there. So for most tasks. The handle is made of uh, uh, stainless steel liners with a nice carbon fiber overlay. This is, of course, the Sage 1, so this has got the, hand, the carbon fiber handle scales, and this is a nice quilted uh, carbon fiber, so light texture to it, very pleasant and interesting. And the fit and finish is just tremendous on this knife. You can see also the, just the attention to detail. It's been meticulously drilled out. And I think they used three or four different size drill bits to uh, Swiss cheese this, this handle on up, and, and that's what makes it so nice and lightweight. Um, feeling the the little bolts here, the tolerances are so good that you can't tell where the uh, the carbon fiber ends and the bolt begins. They're just absolutely flush, and uh, it's really nice. Um, just just lovely, just exactly what you'd expect for what you pay for for this knife. Uh, we've got an open pillar construction, flow through design, so light and minimalist. Again, everything you need, nothing you don't. Just uh, two backspacers, a stop pin, and a pivot. Very clean and simple. Easy to clean, although it will collect a little dust in there. Mine's a little dusty. So, um, The ergonomics, that's another outstanding aspect of this knife. One of my favorite reasons uh, why I like this knife is just the, uh, the ergonomics. You know, it's exceptional. Uh, first off, you've got this 50-50 choil down here. That is clutch, and uh, you've got this this nice thumb ramp that's been aggressively jimped. This, to me, this is what makes it. This allows you to control the knife. It gives you plenty of room to uh, get a very comfortable grip and a very secure grip as well. So this thing's not going anywhere. Absolutely love the ergonomics. You can uh, go back on the knife a bit, get a little more reach if you need to, and still have plenty of room for that. But I find myself just choking up for most of my EDC stuff. And uh, works very, very well. Very impressed with the ergos. The pocket clip is the Spyderco wire clip. And what I like about this one is, is it's been blackened. I wish they would do this with all their wire clips because it's just the most discreet carry I have ever found. This knife buries in your pocket and disappears when you're wearing slacks or dark uh, blue jeans or anything like that. This is an excellent option for an office and uh, I carried mine in an office all summer and loved it so and it's it's holding up pretty well it's starting to show a little bit of wear but this finish is, is actually very good and I think it'll stay attractive for excuse me for a pretty long time so I'm very pleased with this wire clip 
and uh, it looks simple but it totally works this is hardened steel this is not like a paper clip or something so big fan of the wire clip over here uh, deployment of course we've got a nice spider hole and it's not blocked by the handle at all very easy to get at and very smooth very smooth opening actually when I first got this knife it was kind of stiff and uh, it took some real work to uh, to break it in and it's just been getting better and better I've had this for probably eight months now and it's just getting easier to deploy and smoother and you know not the smoothest knife but I think the deployment is is actually very smooth especially having owned it and just letting it break in it it's definitely has a break-in period at least with mine but uh, it, it's worth the wait and these days I just love you know I love the deployment on it and it gives a nice crisp snap as it locks in place this liner lock really has kind of a, a unique sound to it and almost like a kind of a chirp kind of sound really cool and as you can see here nice early lock up despite having opened this thing thousands of times it still locks up nice and early uh, adequately thick liner lock I think for for what I'm using it it'll work just fine and uh, you know have no no fears at all about it disengaging although you want to be careful with any folding knife you know uh, that takes us through the the knife here all the features all in all I just love this one it's uh, an outstanding combination of materials and fit and finish and smart design for around a hundred bucks this is uh, you can't go wrong I really feel that way I haven't been able to put this down since I got it this was a nice gift to myself and it's uh, it's the gift that keeps on giving because I enjoy it every day that I carry it. Uh, I guess I wanted to wrap this up by saying, you know, some people might be interested in the the Sage 2 or the Sage 3. Uh, and the Sage 2 is the titanium handled one. And I, th I had to think pretty hard before I ended up with the Sage 1. Um, I really like the Sage 1 a lot. And if I were to go back, I would get the Sage 1 again. Although it would be fun to check out the Sage 2 as well. Uh, I just... This carbon fiber is indestructible practically. It shows nowhere at all. And I just love how it's you get this dark clip too. This is just a super discreet knife. It's very practical, I think. I, I feel like the uh, the liner lock version is just a little more practical for what I was doing. And that's why I ultimately decided on the, the Sage 1. But I have to admit, the allure of, of a full titanium handled knife with S30V blades, blade steel, excuse me, for $150. I mean, that is... Very nice too, so I'd like to pick up a Sage 2 at some point and shoot a video of that. But uh, for the time being, very satisfied with my Sage 1. Okay guys, that's the review. Thanks so much for watching. Let me know if you have any comments or questions. I'd be more than happy to answer them. And I love hearing all your feedback. Uh, thanks again guys. Take care.